Hey guys, it's me Megan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I saw Sarah Caroli do these like book videos like doing book related stuff. So I thought that would be such a cute idea. So that's what we're doing today. We're just going to spend a like I'm just going to show you guys every single book related thing that I do over this next week. I have some book hauls. I want to reorganize my bookshelves. I want to do my book journal, but most importantly, why I started this vlog right now is because I am doing a little cute book idea that you will see very, maybe soon. I don't know. I saw people have, I'm not going to make it a surprise because I don't think that many people are that excited about what I'll keep like a secret, but I'm going to make little TBR prompts and put it in a jar and then i'm gonna pick it for my monthly tbr i don't know what month i'm gonna do this for but i really want to do it so i looked earlier my phone's charging right now but um i'm gonna go on pinterest i'm gonna search up ideas i'm gonna write them down on paper fold them up and then put them into the jar and i i just i saw someone have it on their like um bookshelf and i was like you know what that's kind of cute and i want it for a video so i'm gonna do that you're gonna see that eventually don't know when it's gonna be probably June or July. Um, don't know when though, but I'm very excited. Probably June, actually, probably June, because I'm excited about it now. So stay tuned for that video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna search that up, do them. I'm prompts that I have books that I know correlate with this. Now that I think actually this video is probably going to go up probably in June, which is so how many, like how many videos I have. Sorry, my mom is taking a shower, but I have so many videos like lined up and everything. I have so many videos lined up, but by the time like this video comes out, it's probably going to be like mid-June or something. <laughs> like I have so many. Actually, that's a lot. finished my little jar i wanted to put more but i think my brain might explode if i do any more so i'm gonna do these for now um i don't need that many i think i did like 20 of them um it would be cool to fill this entire jar but i don't think it's gonna happen but i still have more than half the paper and you can see my little cut marks but now i really want to do my book journal i think i might do that in a little okay so we're doing we're doing what i've wanted to do kind of for a while oh my god this lighting is not it why am i so dark also i have such a tiny little tripod it just doesn't work out sometimes like it's just so tiny but bookshelf we're reorganizing my bookshelf because i looked at it the other day and i just don't like how it's organized like the top is gorgeous but towards the bottom it just starts getting really messy and i want to reorganize it so the first thing we're going to do is take off all these books i'm gonna say you guys i think actually beside you i have a fear yeah i'm gonna say you guys beside me and we're gonna take off 
all the books. I have all the books on the floor. You guys have seen this like a million times. Like I, I do this so often. All the books on the floor. So the very next step, I think it's just like organizing it really. I'm trying, oh, I should take off those books too. Actually, I think there's only three books I'm gonna take. Don't know how I'm gonna do this. I think that's set up. I think I really like the Shatter Me series up on the very top shelf. Actually, I'm not gonna talk you guys through this. I'm gonna put you guys probably here and then I'm just gonna time lapse because I don't think you guys actually wanna hear me blab on and on for so long. So why can't I say you guys? Okay, there we go. Time lapse. Okay, a little bookshelf tour. Um, I think I like this for now. It's kind of just random because I feel like I also don't have a good, like, 
really collection of books that kind of fit with each other but i have the entire shatter me series here i'm gonna do this in reading blog stay tuned i have my pride and joys the fox will court the raven king the king's men i always had it over there and then i also had it up there i also have if we were villains up here i don't know why i just have it up there um I have Shadow and Bone and Sage and Storm. I don't really like those two books, but they look nice. And I have Heartstopper also over here. I don't know. I just, I kind of like that little gradual up. So down here, I have the prettiest covers ever. Inv is Visible Life of Addie LaRue and Crooked Kingdom Special Edition. My Pride and Joy. Good Girl's Guide to Murder. These two are placements. I'm going to get the rest of this series in here. I have Good Girl Bad Blood over there, so that's going to go in place of these two. Um, so, over here, I have these gorgeous, this is like my mystery thriller. Um, so there, what else is there? Back here, we have, I did not change this, except I don't think that was there. These are almost, I don't have the rest of the series, and they're like sports, kind of. Well, these three are sports. That one's just random. Then if he had been with me, I just have over there. Back here, I have Stephen King, it, which I will read soon. Midnight Sun, I want to read, not soon. Percy Jackson, once I read the rest of the books, they're going to go in there because I have two more. So that will go over there. I have Magnolia Parks. Once again, once I... Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Um, I'm reading... Um, what is it called? The next book, I don't, Long Way Home, that's going to go with it. And then once I, I also have Hot House Flower, that's going to go with The Addicted. And once I finish that, that's going to get its own shelf. Um, over here, I actually really love, it's really fucking stuffed. Um, but my books look so dirty. I don't touch them. Um, Summer I Turn Pretty. I just like the color scheme. It's very pretty. And then I think that's it for over there. And down here, this is kind of put together. Um, Cruel Prince, because I didn't really like this book, which I'm kind of sad about, but I do. Her Name in the Sky, I Love, Tell Me Three Things I Liked, Everything I Know About Love. They both die at the end. So these are like mix of I really like and I don't really care about. Actually, I just didn't like that one. This one, this was good. I just feel like I wasn't in the right mindscape when I read it. Harry Potter's there more harry potter in the very back i have my two disgraces cursed child and it ends with us i did kind of want to put did i talk yeah i kind of did want to put it ends with us with the rest of these books because like the pink theme but i don't feel like it i don't want that being there so also over here i added glass castle and my policeman because i never read those two so that's the same i'm literally out of breath hi guys so i am uh, it's later it's like almost 10 o'clock i'm gonna add to my book journal i generally don't think i've touched this since i made it in like december i think i made it for vlogmas but i do want a journal it's just that sometimes i just forget that i have it um but i definitely want to do it so here are the pages i need to update this i need to add my books i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to color code them according to like whatever um what i ranked it so or i don't know because i want it to be different colors like i want it to look pretty not just the same color so i think i'm going to do it based on what i rated it i might make a key at the bottom or something just so i remember um, I need to fill out this reading, like, chart, the books that I've read. I don't know if I'm going to add any goals just yet. Maybe that's for another, uh, I might add goals. I have this book bingo and alphabet challenge. I need to do both of those. Um, series tracker I need to do. And then I want to add some books to my yearly TBR. So I'm going to add all of those. First thing, I actually, I think I'm going to use highlighters for this right the book names in and then highlight i'm not gonna put you guys on time lapse even though i feel like that because actually i might put you on time lapse i don't know we're gonna start <laughs> Thank you. 
colored skies, dilated eyes, parked along the side. Cars pass us by, Fourth of July. Love is the vibe. Older folks reside just down the road. I can see the timeline All the memories are tainted Now we're just acquainted Don't mean to be a basic bitch Please take me home I don't wanna be here anymore Take me home Okay, so this is what I added to my book journal. I was charging my battery, so I'm gonna stand right there. You can also see me and my my dog. Okay, actually, I'm gonna close that door. Here's what I added to my book journal. So, woo! Oh, not eaten too. So main page. So I added also the highlighters. Very weird. A vicious sunshine court will always have summer the brothers hawthorne and him everything i know about love is not highlighted in because i didn't rank it because or i didn't rate it because it's a memoir and i don't feel like or i don't want to like rate people's lives um did this little reading challenge so six bubbles didn't add any goals i can always add it later this week because i'm going to do this video for a while a little book bingo so I have a new release. I read The Sunshine Court, adapted into a show movie. I did We'll Always Have Summer, LGBTQ plus characters. I did him because that is an um, male male relationship. Alphabet Challenge, everything I know about love for E, T for The Sunshine Court, V for Vicious for V, and then We'll Always Have Summer for W. And then series tracker, I added Boys of Tom in the first book. I don't think I'm going to continue that series, um, just because I didn't really care about the first one. Um, and then I also read the third book of Magnolia Parks. So don't ask why. I just really wanted to read it. And I still have room for more series. Did I have Twist? I do have Twisted. I want to finish that. Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I need to read Mortal Instruments. I need to start. The Nearly TBR, last page. I added a lot of books. I added A Little Life by Hanya Yanagara. I don't know how to say that. Flawless by Elsie Silver. The Mindfuck series by St. Abby. Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez because I really want to read that book. Um, Crying in H Mart, Michelle's Honor, and The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Poston? I don't know. I added those books. I love this bread. So pretty. I want to add more to this because I'm going to use this for the next year too, not just for this year. But anyways, that's all for today. Um, I don't know what else I'm doing. I'm probably... Uh, I just dropped my... Yeah, but I think I'm gonna... I want to add more stuff to it. So I might watch like some videos to find like inspiration for it. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I will probably see you guys tomorrow or soon. We have a book haul ahead, which I'm very excited about. I'll wait to unbox or to unbag these. I'm so excited. I love getting books. This is such a book video. Um, and I've been getting back into books recently, which I'm really happy about. Also, I didn't show you guys, but I added... I completely forgot. I added this little thing to my bookshelf. And then my TBR thing to that. So, that's what that looks like. I want to try and film in front of here. Like, book videos in front of that. That's so cute. We officially have one book that I'm waiting to open. Also, I need to clean my room. Ignore that. Hello guys, so it's the next day, it's night time, and I think I'm going to add something to my book journal, don't know what, but I'm going to browse on Pinterest for some ideas, and then I'm going to let you know what I do. So this is what I added to my book journal, I moved because my mom was right there and I didn't want to talk, but here's an overview. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so first I did a little 
my rating system five stars i have loved it can't stop thinking about it four as really enjoyed it three is okay but i would change some stuff two kind of bad and then one never want to think about it again um and then i added this little thing these stickers that swoop and then i have a reading log i have the books that i read so i've gone through it like a million times but there's that stuff for it it's just on goodreads and then i also did this page full of that which i don't think i'm ever gonna get to this year at least um but yeah i do want to add more stuff so if you guys have any like ideas please let me know because i want to do book journaling more um it's very therapeutic and i kind of want to do it up at camp when i have nothing else to do that being said i'm so excited for my little stack of books to like like unpack like my packages over there because I've never gotten eight books before all at once. Guys, I'm like tracking the book that's supposed to come today and they just changed the estimated delivery from today to Thursday. I'm so sad. Hey guys, so it is a couple days later. I actually don't remember the last time I filmed something for this video, if I am being completely honest, but it is currently Wednesday and it's like, it knew that I wanted the books because it sent, got, I got the rest of them all today and I'm so excited. They're kind of off camera, you can see the very top one, but we are going to unbox these together. I'm so excited, so I'm going to try not to leak my address, so bear with me. I have these packages and then this big one. For the most part, I know what's in the two Amazon bags just because I know which ones I bought on Amazon. And then I don't know in specific which is like the three little tiny ones. So maybe we'll do one that I know or I feel like a kid on a Christmas. Like I was literally waiting for my Amazon package to come in. I was so excited with this little box. Um, I actually don't know which book this is gonna open I literally love this so much oh my god where's my address I might just blur out some things we got every summer after by Carly Fortune I've been wanting to read this book for so long and she has like two more books that I think came out we're gonna go for my Amazon book um this actually came first um this came monday so, yeah monday this tuesday i didn't get anything still amazed everything came at once Dun -dun -dun. i know which book this is um oh my god that book cover um if only i had told her by laura nolan um i really wanted a book <laughs> and i saw that um or i knew that this came out in february and i've been waiting a while to want to read it and i saw some tiktoks about it and i'm like you know what i should finally do it so i did watch like i've heard some people were disappointed by this which makes me a little bit like my expectations are a bit low but i am very excited to read this don't know when i will don't <clears throat> don't know if i will vlog it but i i am very excited to read this what's next should i do okay i know what this is she's a heavy box she's a heavy box um this is a four series um i don't usually buy series but i was like you know what i'm gonna buy it anyways also this is such a weird box a bag to put them in um but anyways i got the raven cycle series yeah i got the raven cycle series um i'm so excited to read it the raven boys the dream thieves blue lily lily blue the raven king i've heard that um this is kind of like not 
that it's like the all for the game series but i've heard a lot of people who love the all for the game series also be in love with this book series so i'm really excited i also love the box set like tell me this is not gorgeous um should i take the books out i want to take the books out um okay first book yeah, that's the first book. Uh, why am I so, like, all over the place? Like, let's look at these covers. Oh, they're kind of tiny. I love them. Love that. Very excited. This. It's bent. It's okay. We'll uncurl it by like stacking books on it. I actually really love that cover. This is gorgeous too. I'm very excited to read that. The next two are unknown. Don't, or the last two. So, this one's labeled bookstore. Is it from a bookstore? I'm gonna open that one. I got Malibu Rising. Is this a bookstore one? It is, it's from a bookstore. <laughs> I've never done that before. That's cool. The very last book. Very interesting fulfillment box. It's pretty. It's not pretty. It's just cool. We got the Archer's Voice. Or Archer's Voice. Not the Archer's. Um, I've heard that this is some of people's like all-time favorite book. I've wanted it wanted to read it for so long. I don't know why I didn't. I think there was just other books that I wanted to read, but um thought it was about time that I opened up this book and I started reading it. Okay, I just took a thumbnail. Um ooh. There's some scuffs on these books, which breaks my heart just a little bit, but it's okay. Um so excited. Like these covers look so gorgeous with each other. Ah, I'm so happy. Um, but anyways, that is it for this video. I don't really have anything else bookish that I had planned out to do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next week for the next one. Bye!